we explain the rivalry between Athens and Sparta. There were over a thousand city-states in ancient Greece. The most notable ones seemed to be Corinth, Syracuse, Thebes, Rhodes, Argus, and Aegina. However, they all lived in the shadow and consequences of the rivalry that existed between the city-states of Sparta and Athens. Most of the Greek city-states began their political lives living in the power-grabbing between the aristocracy. Eventually, the city-states would see the rise of the tyrants, leaders who seized power to control the behavior of the aristocrats, pass laws, create public spaces, and throw festivals for the people, creating functional government. Tyrants would come to power off and on throughout the early history of the Greek city-states. Some were unpopular, like Cylon and Athens, who was stoned to death along with his followers. Some were more popular, like Pisistratus, who gave land and rights to the poor. Over time, the city-states began to develop their own systems of governments to replace the tyrants. Two of the most prominent systems were democracy in Athens and oligarchy in Sparta. Sparta was a military state run by an oligarchy. Sparta increased its fortunes by invading its neighbors and putting the captured citizens of those countries into slavery. Life in Sparta was highly controlled. All children were to be treated with harsh military discipline. Boys entered the military at age 8 or 10, and at 20 they could finally get married, but they had to live in the barracks until 30, at which point they could also vote. They left the army at age 60. Women lived independently at home during that decade without their husbands and were expected to give birth to strong babies. Unhealthy babies were to be left outside to die. Two kings, five ephors, and a 28-man assembly, all over 60, made the rules. Sparta was also against new ideas and the arts, and traveling was highly discouraged. On the other hand, Athens was a very open place to change in new ideas. It experimented with lots of different types of government, arts, and music. It opened themselves up to the world. At first, Athens was ruled by a king, but they found themselves falling more and more into the hands of an aristocracy. All of this disorder led to trouble. Harsh leaders like Draco would step up and pass codes of justice that involved debt slavery on the poor and the death penalty for even the smallest of crimes. Eventually, leaders like Solon would begin to equalize society and lift the draconian code. Later, leaders like Pisistratus gave the land to the poor, and Cleisthenes would create a council of 500 male citizens that allowed for debate and the birth of democracy. <laughs>